You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. And time waits for no man. Life goes by. And it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. I want you to be terrified of sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. Waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the nightmare. That is what you really need to be afraid of, being stagnant. So, get up and go. There's gonna be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control, control you. Get control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it. And you have to do it now. Don't wait anymore. Don't think anymore. Don't plan anymore. Don't contemplate anymore. Don't make any more excuses or justifications. Don't rationalize anything else. No. Take the risk. Take the gamble, take the first step, take action now. No complacency, no backing off, no slack whatsoever. Most of us were raised to become ordinary. And I'm not putting down ordinary, but ordinary is just not good enough for me. Ordinary is you go through your life and you fill out the forms and you pay your taxes and you do what your parents tell you and you're honorable and you're honest and you're a good citizen and then you die. Extraordinary is something very, very different. This is about recognizing within yourself that there's something very, very extraordinary that you haven't been trained to believe in to come to a place where you can apply it and put it into your life. You can go way beyond ordinary. You can go way beyond just being average. All of us are extraordinary. We just have to come to believe it. You need to be in a big damn hurry. Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry because there's an end to your life and it's coming sooner than you think. It goes by in a flicker and at some point it's going to be over. You want to win? You want to be a millionaire? You got to quit being so casual. You walk slow. You talk slow. You implement things slow. You talk a good game like you're going to be somebody. Wake up. You're going to get your ass kicked, dude. You got to get focused. And get in a hurry. The separator is going to be who takes massive action quickly. When you die, when life is over for you, I don't want you to have one idea left in you. I don't want one dream left in you. When you die, I want you to go for broke. Every CD that you were supposed to do, every book you were supposed to write, I want you to get everything out your system. We get one shot at this gig right here, life. So do not wait. Go forward. No more waiting for the perfect moment, and no more indecision, and no more lies. Take the action. Get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward. Give every day everything you've got. Every ounce of energy, every bead of sweat, every drop of blood until your last breath. And don't let another day slip by. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got, using ourselves up, sharing what we brought into the universe to share. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Stop wasting valuable time. If we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on a whole new meaning.
No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. Ain't nobody stopping you but you. You're not average. Stop acting like it. You're not average. Why are you being average? You're not average. Why are you being good when you're not good? You great. You phenomenal. When you gonna step up to the plate? This is not a year that you're gonna be doing a lot of talking. We're not dreaming no more. We're not wishing no more. We're not watching other people ride the ride no more. This is the year for grinding. Things that you have in you that you don't even know, but until you get out of, outside of your comfort zone, you will never discover it. You have something special. You have greatness within you. But in order to manifest your greatness, you've got to put yourself in a perpetual state of discomfort. Yes, you've got to challenge yourself. You've got to raise the bar on yourself. You've got to get busy. You've got to work your plan. It's time for me to do me, to pursue my dream, to work my plan to implement the things that I want for myself and for my family and for, for my kids. And, and what is your legacy? What do you want to do for yourself? If you want things to get better, you got to get better. If you want things to change, you got to change. But you got to do it deliberately and consciously. You've got to constantly find a way to feed that mind, something that's got strategy in it. Knowledge is not power. Execution trumps knowledge every day of the week. Turn your shoulds into musts. Because everybody's got a list of shoulds, don't they? I should lose weight, I should go on a diet, I should make more phone calls, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should, I should. You want to create results, and those results come when you raise your standard. You got to turn the shoulds into musts. Discomfort is your friend, because discomfort may move you to actually go for the life you deserve. Listen, if there's only one f***ing pedestal, you must be in it. The idealized version of you must be in it. Not me, not any other guru or influencer or thought leader. You get on the pedestal. You become the idealized version. You become the hero in your life's story. If your life is a movie and the movie ends, do you want your name at the end in the credits to be the hero and the star? Or do you want it to be taxi driver number two? You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Selling yourself on your ability to perform a job. Telling yourself every day, here I go again. This is my day and nothing out here is going to stop me. Successful people stop negotiating the price in their life. You know what's stripping all your success? You keep negotiating the price you're paying. Man, all the work I'm putting in, it's not paying off. I don't see my family as much. I gotta do all this. You start negotiating it all the time and it's zapping all your damn energy. Successful people don't negotiate price, they negotiate worth. Could this be worth it to me to pay this? And once you decide it's worth it to win, it's worth it to be somebody, the negotiation stops. It might be year two, three, four, before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that, you're the lead character in the story of your life. That's the decision. Decide now, you're gonna keep negotiating the price or can you not be bought? Be what it is you claim to be about. Be what it is you truly want to be. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to change your life, if you truly want to lose 50, 100, 200, 500 pounds, be about it today.